Well, hello there, Shirley Rocks here. We're playing Hellion today, and there's an update out for this, the Constructors update. So I wanted to play this again. I've played it before. I uh, don't think I've actually ever uploaded it to the, in the interweb, so we're going to start off a new character, and hopefully we're not going to die. <laughs> so this game is... It's fun, but it's hard. Um, so we're going to try and actually progress and do a little bit in this. It's it's super easy to do things wrong in this. And yeah, I'm just going to show you a basic guide of getting started in Helion. So you start off in your cryo sleep pod. And we need to get out of this. So you can look around like this. Uh, you got a button that doesn't seem to do anything. You need to actually look down here, interact with that. There we go. Now we are going to come out of our pod. Now, these are my private quarters, which I start off in. And the first thing we're going to do, we're going to grab this Mark 9 pressure suit. So we'll grab that, put it on, grab the stim pack as well. Press tab, brings up your radial thing here. These are your helmet, your jet pack, uh, various items you can use over here. And we've got ammo, we've got stim packs, all sorts of good stuff. So you don't actually start off with a huge amount of stuff in here. I mean, you can drag your welding torch to a number key there. So if I press 2, I will get it out. Press 2 again, get it away. Uh, you can interact with stuff with F, but we are going to go straight into the uh, the base. So this is our uh, base. There's not an awful lot to see here at the start. It's randomly generated what you get. Ooh, I've actually got another stim pack there. Nice. I'm uh, going to look around, and we need a helmet first of all, so if we go and grab a helmet from here, we will put it on, as you can see there, we're trying to breathe, oh yeah, we need a jetpack as well, we need a jetpack or we will die, there we go, if you don't get the jetpack, you don't have oxygen, now if you press H, you lift your helmet up like so, now I don't think there's anything else around here, Let's shut me, uh, let's shut me door shut. There we go. I'm going to take that fire extinguisher with us. And you, now we'll leave it there. You're best off leaving these in the compartment. So to, to use these, you just basically drag it there like that. And then you press that there. Okay. I'm going to go into the main base now. So if we open the door, press F. There we go. Let's shut the door behind us. Okay, come on, Let's shut the door, there we go, I keep these shut to try and equalise the pressure, okay, now, the red thing over there means gravity is not on at the moment, you've not got power at the moment so we can't really see that anyway, but let's open this up, come on, let me in, I should auto open. There we go. Whee! Right, we want to use this. And we want to turn gravity on. There we go. Gravity is now on. Okay, that door's shut. First things first, we need power. That's why everything's so dark. If you press L, that's artificial torch light, but we need proper torch light. <laughs> well, we need electricity. Uh, we're in the sun at the moment so we can deploy our solar panel at the top and that will start deploying the solar generator you can't actually see it deploying unless you're outside but if we keep an eye on this we should hear the power come on and see it come on there we go so if we look at that now you can see we're actually getting power 450 we're getting 450 power and you can see that is powering up so at the moment, we've got power used in all of these, so we're going to wait, let, let the power go up a little bit, and we are going to go and grab some other bits and pieces. So, what can we grab? Right, let's have a look over here. Randomly, It randomly seems to spawn different things. Sometimes you get something, sometimes you don't. Okay, there's nothing in that one. Uh, we're going to go and check the panels over here for now. So we can see gravity is on, pressure is okay, air quality is good, temperature is good. Hull integrity is at 94. Okay, there's nothing in that one. So it's worth looking around the base to see if there's anything. There is actually some additional stuff. 
go over here. Now, sometimes you get ammo in these. Not today, we don't. No. Just press F and shut them up. Okay, um, they're just the standard suits. Nothing really new there. There's another stim pack up there. We will have that. Okay, let's check the uh, the. This is your basically your. You can send a distress a distress call, and everyone will know where you are. Because otherwise, people don't know where you are. But I've heard people <laughs> will come and actually try and pillage you. So whether you want someone to come and help you or not is up to you. Okay, so we've got quite a nice amount of power now. I'm going to go and turn on my life support air filter. No, no, sorry, air generator. So that way the air tank starts filling up. Uh, as it says there, air is used for pressure, pressurization and depressurizing rooms. So let's look at this. So we're actually on a loss of power at the moment. We're losing 75 and that's because we're generating 450, but we are actually using 525 now. Uh, the air generator is using quite a bit, and the other bits are also using quite a bit. Hmm. Now, let me see. Um, there's nothing really I can do at the moment to boost that. So I'm just going to let this fill up a little bit and get a little bit of uh, power. So there is various things you can use in here. As you can see that, you can pull that out, then they've got carbon filters in, you can upgrade them later on, I believe. Uh, the same with them, I've not actually got any of that. Now, it's saying make sure I've got my, my suit equipped. So, I've got my suit, but I do need to put my helmet on. So, what else can we do in here? So, we've looked at that there. Uh, we can actually interact with the pods here. You can invite a friend. You can set your spawn point to this area, so I could do... I could change my spawn points to that one there. So I'll spawn in that one instead of over there. Okay. Um, enough. I want to shut that. Let me shut that. What? You can't shut that once you open it. That's not really good. Okay, let's check out the um, levels. We've got nearly 16k of power. And we've got 182 in the air tank. Hmm. I could do actually to... I might try. No, 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 we're actually... We're operating at a bit of a loss, but at least we've got power. So I want to go and try and get outside and show you some of this stuff. So... Woo! Right, so we need to get outside. So first of all, I need to manually override the outer door by pulling the lever. But we need to go over here first of all. Hold down shift to grab onto the wall. And now we're going to open this. This will vent. And we need to put our helmet on with H, otherwise we will die. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good tutorial. I nearly died. Now, if we come over here, this is outside my ship. There you go. So that's my ship. That's the uh, the planet over there. There's my solar array over there. And now we're going to explore. So, ooh, I think that's actually a, a minor blasteroid or something, or a bit of space rock there. Okay. So we've got a few things we can do in space. You can fly around. Q, um, Wasada for your controls and Q and E for your rotation. First of all, we're going to go over to this derelict. Now you've got to remember, if you push forward for five seconds, you need to press back for five seconds to counter it. So we're going towards this derelict here, which we're going to highlight like that, just to show you where it is. Use that with the arrow key. And we're going to head towards this. I seem to turn my light off. Now, if you if you fly towards a thing, hold down shift. Once you get near it, you'll actually grab onto it. Okay, let's sort ourselves out a little bit. Uh, if you hold down shift, you will stabilize. So we're looking to get inside this. So where is the entrance? There's a door here. So you do need to be quite gentle with the controls in this, which is something I always struggle with because I end up doing too many controls too fast, too quick, and we all die. All right, I'm going to try and get in this way. I think this is a dead end. Let's try... Can we sneak through this way? Nice. Okay. We're looking for loot. Not seeing anything there. Let's go and check out up here. So it does seem to be quite random, the actual uh, 
loot and stuff you get. Okay. Let's see. We're not having much luck finding much stuff in here. Ooh, I can see stuff over here, though. Ooh, there's a few things. Right, we'll go and grab that. Oh, 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 I'm upside down. Let's write ourselves up. Okay. Now, there's something over here. That's useful. That's for charging your uh, jetpack and oxygen. Now, there's some ammo clips over here. So, we're going to grab these. That's with F. And was there something on the top shelf? I don't think so. I think there's something over here, though. Let's have a little look. Oh, no, this is, this is the thing. The other thing was a resource thing. That's what you used to charge. Resource container. We want to grab that. Okay, I believe that's it. So if we look at our inventory now, we've picked up a few extra things. So we've got resources. We can dump them back in the base. And the other thing we got was uh, that the small resource container. And that contains oxygen and nitro. So that gives you oxygen to breathe and gives you propellant for the um, jetpack. Right. I'm going to go outside. Next thing we want to go to is this. So that is our main outpost over there. But there is actually this airlock over here. So we want to head towards this. I'm going to try and come up a little bit. Okay. Let's try and start slowing down. Right. Now, to, in order to... Uh, ooh, there's a bit of damage here. Let's... Uh, Let's try and fix this. So you remember I got the the welding torch before? Let's uh, press shift if you start going out of control like that. Okay. So we're going to go over it. Now, the damage is there. Okay. I think... Oh, no, 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 no. Too much, too much, too much, too much. We're actually in the middle of a storm now as well. We need to get out of this. We need to get out of this. Now, I don't really need to go in this. Well, I tell you what, I'll go in this and take cover from the storm just because it could actually kill us. Let's go and have a little look in here. Okay. Come on, let me in. Let's use the door controls. Ooh, what's this? So there's some stuff here. Nice. What are these things? Servo motor. Nice. I believe we Oh it's a wall. I believe we can use that to uh use less power. Nice. Now that should be the other side of the actual uh the airlock. If I try and let's turn the lights off, let's try and go down so you can see through the window. So as you can see, that is what a uh, that storm thing looks like. We're in the middle of this horrible shower. Okay, so there's enough, not an awful lot else in here to see, but we do need to get back outside. So let's just glide through here. Is there anything else in here we can? Uh, Oh, there's a few more goodies up here. Oh, you can hear the stuff whacking the ship. Let's go and grab these. Yeah, we are getting actually wrecked here. Now, I should be able to pick both of them up. That sound then is the actual... Whoa, there, don't you be going out to space. Whoa, that was lucky. Right, so we need to stick that in my inventory now. So if we come over here, I think, oh, maybe maybe we're full of inventory. Yeah, we've got stim packs. Let's use a stim pack because we did actually take a bit of damage before. Now, you can't actually tell how much health you've got. The screen gradually goes grey and grey. So we're going to use this stim pack and see if the screen goes less grey. Um. It seemed to a little bit. 
not a huge amount. And we've actually got those two stim those two uh little resource packs in there now. I think I am going to just go back outside now. Let's see if we can shut this door behind me as well. This one here. I don't want to leave these open. There we go. Okay, now we're going to try and get outside. Okay, so we need to get out and then up on top. This is probably really stupidly dangerous. I'm just going to peek out. Okay, let's counter it. Okay, now go up, press space. You need to be really gentle with the controls in this game. Stupidly gentle. Okay, some damage here. Let's uh, try and repair this. There you go. Let's put it away. The storm's ended now. Okay, so we're looking for the controls for the ship. Now, I believe these are at the back. So these are going to be the controls here now. So we need to mount up with this here. So if you press F on that, that'll open it up. And we need to go a little bit closer. And we need to use it. No, 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 no. We need to actually interact with it. There we go. Right, so we want to dock with the standard docking port. So if we press R, that changes to standard docking port. Um, we can cycle through the different things here, but we want the outpost and the standard docking port. It's 28 meters away, and we can move the mouth, the mouse gently up, down, left, and right. So we want to go up a little bit, and we want to start moving towards it. So let's move, press uh, W to accelerate slightly, and we want a little bit of a left hand hue as well with uh, A to sort of try and go a little bit to the left and a little bit forward. So we need to try and line this up perfectly. Now, if you rush this, you will bounce off into space. So you need to be pretty slow and steady with this. So we're actually 24 meters away. I'm gonna start correcting this. Okay, 0 0.3 meters a second to the left. Let's start bringing that down to about one move it up slightly okay I think that's pretty even now and we'll do a little bit more to the left I think that's pretty good All right let's start accelerating closer towards it now if there's one thing that goes wrong it's always this So we're going to try and bring home the bacon. Let's try and get this in. Okay, we're 14 meters away. I think maybe we need to go a little bit further up. Okay, let's start decelerating a little bit. Now this may not look like I'm actually moving, but if you do try and uh, rush it, I've re literally restarted my character on this server about eight times to try and do this. Okay, so we want to go slowly. Now, I think we need still to go more to the left. We need to try and line this up perfectly. Okay, it's looking good. So we're just trying to aim in this middle bit. Okay. I think we're slightly off there. We need to be more straight. Yeah, we need to be like that, so we need to go more to the left. Okay, I think that should be good. It looks like we're straight, so now if we just go straight down the middle. Now... Hopefully, the auto docking should kick in now. We're going right down the middle. There we go. 
And we have been sucked in. Nice. Docking has been successful. Okay, so if we come off this now. I should be able to shut the shut that. So I should now be docked to the station. So this should be the door. So let's go to the door. So this should now be my new entrance into the actual complex now. So if we come up to this really carefully. Right, we need to we need to get a hang hang on this. So if we try and get to this really carefully. Now if we go to the right hand door control. Actually no, we'll try and press pressurize it first. So you do need to pressurize stuff in this. So you can do it from this panel here. Now, the door is actually closed at the moment, but it's not letting me pressurise it. Let's try and go in manually and do it then. Okay, we're inside. Right, now we'll try and shut the door. Oh, 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 we're spinning. We're spinning. We're spinning around like Kylie. Okay, let's try again. Right, shut the door. That is not letting me pressure. I mean, we have got air pressure in the tank. Um, it should be letting me do that. Right, that's opening it. That's closing it. Right, let's go and check the rest of the uh, the ship out. Maybe I've left a door open. Let's we'll see. Okay, I can see red already on the ship. Now that door there should not be open. Whoa! See, we've got we have got some pressure here. Ah, the pressure's actually on zero. That's no good. Right, shut that door then. Um, why is that not letting me pressurize it? Try shutting that door there. Let's do the emergency override. Okay. Now, are you going to let me pressurise it? I think maybe I've got to connect it correctly to the rest of the ship. Okay, so shut the door again. Now, that should be the where the rest of my base is. Right, you know what we're going to do? We're probably going to do something stupid here. We're going to open this. And try and get into the rest of the base. <laughs> so <laughs> that sort of equalised the pressure. Uh, not really good though. Okay, it looks like the pressure's pretty equal over it. We've got, we have got some. Uh, I think maybe opening that has uh, repressurised it. It looks like it has. Ah, we've got a problem with uh, the sun. The sun's actually gone behind um, with the traversing around the uh, the planet, so we've not actually got any power at the moment. That's no good. Right, we can, we can open up our uh, suit now, now we're inside anyway. So, we did get a few little things before we can use now. Let's go and grab these off the floor. And let's open that up. I think we looked at that before, we didn't see anything. Now we did pick up something before, which was the... Was it a motor part? Reduces power consumption by 50%. Hmm. Now where can I stick this in? So, if we look at this again... I don't think it was this one. If you look at the life support one, one of these actually told us where we could put these parts. So, the air generator uses 300. Right, so... In theory, I should be able to stick that part in here. Right, let's see. So, if we get that part, stick it there like that. And we want to stick it in here. Now, that now should be using less power. Let's see. Okay. 
we've not actually got any sun being uh, generated. Well, no power at the moment. We're actually doing 150 on that now, which is good. Um, we need power though, so there's literally nothing we can do until we get <laughs> to the sun. I mean, we we can. I can talk about this though. So, those things we picked up before off the off the ship. There's these resource uh, things here, so you can actually stick these in your ship. So, if you go along here to the terminal, go to attach points. You can see that canister has got hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. So we're going to take all of them from it. And then now that is just empty, so we'll pick that back up. Okay, and zero. So we've got another one here, raw resources. Same again. Interact with this. Go to attach. And then click unload. Pick it back up again. And again with the last bit. Interact. Use that. Attach. And then do unload again. Okay, so that's all of them emptied now. Now you can actually use those uh, later on. So uh, that's something that we can do a little bit later on. Now I'm hoping to get the power to come back on. Nope, there's no sun at the moment. So, oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> it looks like we have got power. Nice. So the power is going to be going back up now. And we should be using less power now. So... If we go and look at our systems on here, so I think I think opening that airlock has equalised the pressure between these doors. Now that sh we should be okay. We are actually generating more uh, O2 again now. Let's see if it's going up. Let's shut it down and power it back up again. It doesn't appear to be actually going up on that though. Hmm. Anyway, so there's also a, a refinery in here as well. Um, you can actually go into the refinery option and you can drag different elements into this area here. So I could say grab that into there, that regolith. Let's say we do want to just do, I don't know, one unit. Do confirm and then click refine. That'll take a second and that's how much power it'll take. So we'll do that. Let's see what we get. So we got from that, we've got oxygen, hydrogen, and helium. Once you've uh, grabbed all the stuff you want, you can click on load, bring it back over here. Um, you can do that same with, say, for instance, dry ice. Say I want to just refine 2.8. Do that. That's going to start going down. Actually, we're actually short of power at the moment. There we go. Getting a bit of oxygen from that. Unload again. Okay. So we are getting a little bit of reserve of power now. So that's how you dock all of that up. Uh, interestingly, if you can do things like like fire extinguisher here, that's not working at the moment because you need to actually prime it. So if we use that on there, then we go to attach point. We can see it uses nitrogen. So we need to drag nitrogen over onto this. And this will actually load it up for us. Come back out of that. And you can see it's green on top now. And there you go. That's ready to put fires out. Okay. So there's nothing else really uh, for me to uh, show you now with this station. I think we've covered all the stuff. The only thing we can show, which um, I think I might leave till the next video, uh, is the... Let's try and shut this door. Let's try and sort this this out. I want to try and get this pressure sorted. I'm going to put my helmet on just in case. Yeah, we have got a ship. I don't think... It doesn't like me opening these. We have... Ah, wait a minute. What's wrong with the airlock? Pressurize. There we go. So if we pressurise that now, that's going to pressurise the next room. Let's shut that one. Okay, and that's going to uh, slowly fill up, and then we can open it up. Let's try and pressurise it. Wait a minute, that's not pressurised. Now, is that because I've shut this? It could be. Let's let's open this up. Whoa, 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 whoa! 
So it's the pressure between the different rooms. It does not like that. Right, hold on to this again. There we go. Let's open this. Right, so this needs pressurizing. Let's try again. There we go. That should be pressurizing. Now, is that enough for me to go in the room? Let's see. Let's open up. It looks like it is. That sort of worked. Let's shut the door. Okay. And then we have got our outside bit here. If I come down, that will actually lead outside. So, yeah. So that's how we're going to actually get out of the um, in space. Now, if I want to go out into space now, that I would just get sucked out if I do that now. So what we want to do is go to this. And we want to depressurize. And that's going to basically depressurize the room I'm in now. So the pressure is equal between space outside. Now, if I open this now, hopefully I do not get sucked out into space. Let's see. There you go. Wow. That sort of works. And that is it for now. So, yeah, this is Helium. And this is the uh, recent uh, creator's... No, Craftwork update, it's called. Uh, yeah, so I might do some more of this if you're interested in seeing some more of this game. There is actually a spaceship as well I can show you, and there's also towing and travelling. So, yeah, pretty cool game. Uh, let me know if you want to see some more of this. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm Shirley Rocks. This is Helion, and I'll see you next time.